Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make the creamiest garlic mashed potatoes in your Instant Pot. Now, of course, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can certainly make this on top of the stove. I'll be showing you both methods in today's video. So let's get cooking. All right, so we're going to start things off with our potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold Potatoes, or sometimes you'll just see them called Gold Potatoes in your store. But I like these for mashed potatoes instead of russet potatoes because the Gold Potatoes are just really creamy and they have a softer texture. So I like using these for my mashed potatoes. And they come in, of course, different sizes. So I have a combination of small to medium size go potatoes i've washed them really well but i'm also going to peel them now if you want like the really creamy texture mashed potatoes then you definitely want to peel them but just know with the yukon gold potatoes you can certainly leave the peel on because the peel is really thin so it's totally up to you and once i have all of them peeled i'm going to cut them in half and then as you can see i'm cutting them in half again so i'm cutting them in fours but for the larger ones, I'm going to start off by cutting them in thirds, and then I'm going to cut them in half again. So just make sure you cut them however you want to. You just want to get them peeled and cut. Once that is done, go ahead and scoop all those potatoes up and add it to your Instant Pot. I know I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I have the Instant Pot Duo Nova. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below in the description box. But I'm adding all the potatoes in. And once I have all of them in, it looks like it's not a lot. But trust me, this particular recipe makes enough for four to six servings. But if you want more potatoes, look, you have a lot of room to expand and make more if you want to. Next, it's time to add in our liquid. So I'm adding in some water, a cup and a half of water, and a cup of chicken broth. So this is a tip that I have to get really good flavor. Of course, you can use all water, but I like to do half and half, half water, or a little bit more than half water, and then a cup of chicken broth. And the combination of the two really does taste good with these mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna add in a half of a teaspoon of salt, just a little bit. You don't need much because of that chicken broth. Now it's time to add your lid. So definitely double check to make sure your sealing ring is inside of your Instant Pot lid. Sometimes I forget, <laughs> but you definitely wanna make sure that sealing ring is on the inside. Go ahead and close your lid, and then we're gonna pressure cook it on eight minutes. So mine was already on eight minutes, but I just wanted to show you that you can adjust the time by using the plus and minus buttons. So eight minutes is what you want it on. Once the eight minutes is done, you want to allow it to naturally release some of its steam for about five minutes, and then do a quick release for the rest of the steam. Go ahead and take that insert out with some pot holders because it will be hot. Drain your liquid out into a colander and set it aside. Next, it's time to really make these potatoes creamy. So I'm gonna add some milk directly into the Instant Pot and I put my Instant Pot on the saute setting because I wanna allow that milk to heat up. Then I'm gonna add some butter and then I'm gonna add some minced or crushed garlic cloves. Now this is the real garlic. I would suggest using real garlic cloves crush them up, and then stir them in that milk and butter mixture. Once the milk is heated up, go ahead and turn the saute setting off. That saute setting is really hot, so you just want that butter to melt. And once that butter melts and the milk is heated up, turn the saute setting off. Now add your potatoes back into the Instant Pot. Then it's time to mash, mash, mash. So I have a potato masher here that I picked up from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And just go ahead and mash those potatoes until you reach the texture that you're looking for. Now, if you are making this on top of the stove, you'll wanna cook your potatoes in your liquid just like we did in the Instant Pot. Once it is fork tender, you'll wanna drain it in a colander. And then you're gonna go ahead and warm up your butter, your milk, and your garlic in your saucepan. Once that is warm, you'll add the potatoes back in and then you'll mash them just like this. After my potatoes are mashed, I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper and butter. And then this next step is totally optional, but I would highly recommend it because it really does give it more great flavor is some sour cream. So I just added a tablespoon of sour cream and then I'm gonna stir that into the mashed potatoes. 
And there you have it, friends. Easy and creamy garlic mashed potatoes. These taste so good and they're perfect for any time of the year. So I hope you'll give these a try. And if you do, come back and let me know how you like them. All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoy these creamy garlic mashed potatoes. If you happen to try them out, make sure you come back and leave me a comment down below. Or you can leave me a comment on my website at MarshaEileen.com. If you like this video, please leave me a big thumbs up down below. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell so you'll never miss when I post a new video. Until next time, friends, I'll see you later.